Partners in Ministry, a presentation of Josiah White's Quakerdale Foundation, dedicated to growing ministry support networks, introducing people to a cause that connects with their heart, bringing hope and encouragement to our communities as we seek together to serve as Christ served. Welcome to Partners in Ministry. My name is Dan Smith, and today I'll be talking with Marty Mitchell. Marty is a past client of Quakerdale Family Services. In this interview, we're going to hear about a challenging time he went through a few years back, how working with Quaker Hill Family Services helped, and finally, what advice he would give to someone going through a similar time. Well, welcome, Marty, and thanks so much for joining me today. Hey, thank you, Dan, very much for your invitation, and it's an honor to be here with you. Oh, man, you bet. You know, I remember hearing your story at the Lennox Quakerdale uh, banquet here a few years back, and you were describing a little bit about one of the challenges that you and your family were were going through. Describe for us a little bit about what things were like before you started connecting with uh, with Quakerdale Family Services. Sure. Um, we really were, I guess what you want to say, you know, your typical um, uh, blue-collar family from here in the Midwest. Um, we we went through a, a, a bad situation in our life where um, in 2005, my wife, uh, my kids' mom, had passed away of breast mm-hmm. cancer. So I became um, a single parent in that, that situation. Also, um, she was my business partner and my best friend. And, and also, we had a just life, and, and God was definitely with us that whole way. And so... Um, we, we it just led us into um, going through um, different venues of life, and and when my son got to an age where there was a lot of influence outside the home, um, that's when we became challenged into some of the different situations. Sure, sure. Life changes are are so difficult sometimes, especially with the loss of somebody uh, like a wife or or a mom. How did you hear about Quakerdale Family Services and what made you decide to try try them? Yeah, well, it, it really was a blessing in the, in the whole scheme of things. When we first had uh, found out about them, it wasn't necessarily an option that we had at that time. My son was charged with an OWI, but it was because of marijuana usage mm. of that. And so we we entered a program that we wanted to get him rehab and make sure that he was safe, healthy, but also not endangering anybody around him, especially with vehicular or uh, anything along that line. And my my philosophy is, if you do the crime, you need to make sure that you are are uh, accountable for the actions that come from it. So uh, Marshall County was wonderful with helping us. Uh, he went through several different programs, and the one that we were truly blessed with was the the program from Quakerdale. Sure. As you began to engage with uh, their counseling staff and the programs that they do, uh, what kind of changes did you see happening? Well, we, we saw it on, on the dynamics, not just from him, uh, but just on, on all of us, the abilities to, to communicate openly, um, to share our concerns of what was not just affecting his health and the welfare of his being, but um, we tend to be a family that is very involved in the public. We own a a business here in Marshalltown. And so um, it was the interpretation of what the public would think of that, about that. And so we were able to um, just speak openly about that. And also uh, what Beth was so wonderful about was just, just uh, there's always two sides to every story. Oh, yeah. So it, it was giving us different perspectives of, okay, you need to think about this, or perhaps maybe think in this direction. And it was all done in the comfort of our home. Now, it was it was different because it was something that was an optional, and, you know, it was, I don't want to say forced upon us, but... I, I would not have it any other way. Uh, the end results were um, a much strengthened uh, means of communication between us and also um, just the openness about that. There, there was no critical being of, of you know, you did this, 
um, you're bad for doing this. Um, it, it was it was nothing like that. It's okay. This has occurred. What are we going to do to make tomorrow better? Sure. Yeah. You know the the name is 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 Quaker Hill Family Services, and and part of it obviously is that the the organization wants to work with you, you know, work in any way that they can help strengthen families. But the other part of that is that they work with the whole family. They they realize that that this is a a community that's being affected by whatever's going on. In this case, I'm sure there was some grief that had to be going on. There had to be some disappointment of choices that were being made, and you had some legal things. And everybody's in a different place. And and it's just so cool the way Beth and her staff are are able to work with the entire family to help everybody grow and not point a finger at any one person saying you're the problem. We need to get you fixed. Right, and, and that's true because what I had for perspective was different from what Miles's um, girlfriend had perspective to what his sister and my daughter had for perspective of things. Everybody was, um, you know, we, as such, if you share the same last name, doesn't mean, <laughs> you know, our personalities are going to be congruent. So, yeah, I take a look at, look at my kids. We've got three and I go, are we sure they had the same mom and dad? I, <laughs> I remember, I remember them being born. Yeah. <laughs> They are they are so different. Maybe they got switched in the hospital or something. <laughs> my my mom and dad and I are very um, pretty good sized build, and my sister is just a little twig of a thing. And I always said, I think she's adopted. You know? <laughs> yeah, sister. I'm sure she really appreciated that too. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's another show. That's another show. Yeah. Let's get back. <laughs> so challenging time. How many years now are you past basically? That 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 we, particular time, we are roughly uh, at five years past that time. Okay. It happened in the, the very first part of 2018. I I can't remember the date exactly, but I sure. just remember the 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 feeling and the um, the the fearful feeling because I couldn't find him that night. I could get yeah. him on the phone, but he wouldn't relay where he was at. And then after that, the police department called and said that they had apprehended him and this is what was going on. So how would you describe things now for your family? Um, you know, there, there's still some challenges that we face and it's not related to that. It, it's basically within his now marriage. He married the girl that he was with at the time. And so that presents some some just different different perspectives on things. But for his health and well-being and all that so he has he has elected never to to do anything like that again sure. he has he has maintained um and he's in a job now that it would be uh he has to be detail oriented so is it's going to be noticeable if he is under the influence of anything at, at all sure. um, so he's um you know he he just elected in on his own but with support not to make that decision again. Yeah. I know one of the things that I so much appreciate about, about Beth when she tries to describe what it is that you do, they say, says, you know, we don't fix anything. What we do is give people the tools to get through it. And she said, the reason that's so important is because this is a challenge that you're having now. There's going to be another one. And then there's going to be another one after that. And it'd be another one after. If we can give you the tools to help you address those things and work through them and then know that you've got somebody that if something isn't really working, we're still here to help you out. What a difference that makes makes in life. Amen. Yep. Amen. And knowing also that you're not alone in the venture. You know, yeah. the challenges in life, they they don't discriminate between people that are wealthy, where they're they're financially struggling, whether they're from here, or they're from across the world. It, it does not matter. And knowing that there's others out there that can um, lend that support is a tremendous asset as well. Yeah. Marty, if there was someone that's listening to this interview uh, right now and they can really relate to your story, what advice would you give them going forward? I would say definitely open your heart and say what, what is, is on your, what's, what's bothered. What's um, seek that assistance, be prayerful, in that, in that as well, um, because they're, you know, he is still the 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 one true healer on things. But, mm -hmm. uh, but, but, but open yourself um, because these these people, Beth and 
any of the um, uh, staffing there professional and they they want the best for us and that's very obvious they're very transparent and it's only right that we be transparent with them as well sure. but it, it's something that i i have never ever regretted in my my life is having that experience with them all right that's awesome well marty thank you so much for sharing something so very personal oh, i really you. appreciate it if you've got any questions or if you'd like to learn more about Quick Adult Family Services, you can see their contact information right here on the screen, or you can find it in the show notes for this episode on our website or in the description of this YouTube video. Again, thank you, Marty, for being with us today, and thank you for joining us in this video. Until next time, let's get out there and serve as Christ serves. This has been a presentation of Partners in Ministry, a podcast of Josiah White's Quakerdale Foundation. To learn more and see the show notes for this and other episodes, visit our website. To stay informed of up and coming broadcasts, subscribe to our e-newsletter. To invest in our mission, donate today.